All right. Well, let's go into our work session discussion items. Uh, first presentation is the library. Ms. Lett. All right. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you all today to tell you about library services during the pandemic. But first, I'd like to tell you that we have the honor of having the Librarian of the Year for 2021 as a part of our staff. Ms. Marquita Gooch Void has been voted by the Georgia Public Library Service as the Librarian of the Year, and she is our Assistant Director for Technology and Training. So we're very proud of her. Now, when the pandemic started, one of the first things that we did was to start curbside service. So we let people put books on hold and they come to the library and we safely and conveniently put them in their truck and they go on their merry way. So they've still been able to check out books during the pandemic. We quarantine our books. So we take our books and for four days, we put them in an isolated area so that they can be quarantined so that they will be safe and will not have any of the coronavirus to transmit to other people. Learning Spaces is one of our premier programs. It's for our children from zero to five. They come in in the past and have communed together and did experiential learning. So they have been able to work on crafts and those kinds of things. But because of the pandemic, they can't come in and gather anymore. So we now have drive-through pop-up. And with the drive-through pop-up learning spaces, they come in and they get a make and take craft kit. So they get all of the tools that they need to be able to do a craft. So all of our programs now are digital. So when we air the digital learning spaces, they take out their bag of stuff and they put their little craft together. So it's kind of like they're still there, but they're just not in the building with us. Story time too has become digital for us. And quite a few of you have come in and read for our kids and we have filmed you. So we thank you very much for that. We've had a lot of celebrities around the county to come in and read to the kids, so we've been real appreciative to all the folks that have come in to read. We use YouTube and Facebook Live for our programming, so we have some of the programs that are live and others we put on YouTube so people who weren't able to view the live viewers can now see them later on. So we've got a lot of extra hits for a lot of our programming. When homeschooling started, one of the first things we did was got out hotspots, and that really helped a lot of our kids be able to stay connected and get connected to their schoolwork. We also are pushing a product called Brain Fuse. It has homework help, so they have live tutors that the kids can either call into or they can go online and go to the tutors from 2 o'clock to 11 o'clock every day and they will help them with math or science or any subject that they're having issues with that they will answer questions for the parents. And if the kids have writing assignments, they will take the papers, critique them, send them back, and they can make a better grade by making those corrections. During the pandemic, when it first started, we had been working on digital library cards because we knew some of our kids couldn't get to the library. So during the pandemic, we finished working on all of the, the digital cards for the library, and we have done 60,000 plus library cards for our students in the Clayton County School System. And as the new students come in, they send us their names, we create their digital cards. So now, whenever they need library resources, they can go online anytime, day or night, and they can get to all of our resources. We still have access to Pines, so if they need to borrow materials that are physical materials, they can get those through Pines, and we can get those delivered. We've been really pushing our digital books and magazines and our online databases. These are things that we have been pushing for years, so the pandemic has really helped us to be able to get a lot of usage out of this. So the legislators will be very pleased because they pay for these digital resources. We are now trying to hook up with one Clayton to find out who owns this site and who's keeping it updated because if they're not keeping it updated, we want to help with that because a lot of the people that call us need community resources and we want to make sure that our list of those are up to date. We have free and legal music from Freegal, so when people are looking for entertainment, they can download music for free as long as they have a library card, five items a week, and they can keep them. We have found some unlikely stars in our staff from digital programming. People are very excited. Our staff is really excited about filming, about being in front of the camera, and some about editing. So everybody has kind of gotten involved in digital programming. So we've taken most of the programs that we used to have in person and created digital programs for those. So they are now on our website and on uh, YouTube and Facebook. 
we have gotten some new equipment called a pad caster that we can now do filming more easily, more convenient. We're taking um, our music production equipment and we're using that in our digital programming and teaching kids as well online how to use some of this equipment. We have a program called Art Therapy from the Riverdale Library. One of our library employees is really talented in art. So it's kind of like a sip and paint. So you come by the library, you pick up your kit, and then when you have, uh, you're at home, you watch the digital program and she tells you what to do and how to paint your uh, canvas. So that has been great therapy for a lot of folks. We've also been doing exercise from home, so if you have green beans in your cabinet, you can use those as your weights and you can now exercise. And the Atlanta Journal-Constitution picked up both of these programs and they publicized them for us. We wrote a grant, Grow with Google, and we have been teaching the Google resources to our entrepreneurs so they can now kind of get their businesses back online. And we know that a lot of them used to use the library as their urban office. So now we've created something called Entrepreneur in a Bag. And in the bag that they get, it has a hotspot in it, it has a tablet, and it has a small printer. And now they can use those Google resources and see if they will really work for their business. We wrote a grant to the Georgia Public Library Service for Chromebooks. So now we will have 24 Chromebooks that we can check out to people who need to use equipment from the library. And we hope that we will get some more as they get more to give out. We have a database called Job Now. For the folks who are looking for jobs, and we know that there are a lot of folks in that position, they will help you with getting your resume together, with interviewing, and with assessing what jobs are good for you to apply for. We have a new program called Interplay. Interplay is a 2D, 3D, and virtual reality module that you can work on, and it will teach you skills to be an electrician, to be a plumber, or to do facilities management. And one of the judges, Judge Hayward, from the court system called and asked if this was something that she could send her probationary folks over so they can learn some skills and get a job. And we're hoping that at some point we may be able to team up with some folks who will give these folks an apprenticeship based on the things that they learn from these modules. And they're kind of self-paced modules. We are still working on health literacy, I mean financial literacy, I'm sorry. We're doing home ownership. We're now doing estate planning since that has really become a big issue with all of the things that have happened as a result of COVID. We're working on budgeting, credit and money management. So we're still putting out programs to help our citizens to get their money in line and to know what opportunities are out there for them. We're working on uh, things with the entrepreneurial mindset because we know our entrepreneurs now have to think of their business in a different way. So we're looking at how we can help them with finding information about the PPP loans that are out there, how they can apply for those, and other things that happen with our entrepreneurs. So we're still connected with them to make sure they get what they need. With health literacy, we're working with the Clayton Health District. We're doing Medline Plus, which is a basic tool to help people to find basic health information that's on lay level. And we're also going to do some men's health classes with the Clayton Health District. For summer reading, this year the theme is Tales and Tales, and we are working on bringing in performers, magicians, ventriloquists, and other folks who will do digital programming for our kids. And maybe if by the end of the summer we get to the point where we can do some in-person things, we will do some social distance things as well. We're partnering with Parks and Rec. They have a program called uh, Walk and Read. They're gonna have some book pages on the trail. And as you walk the trail, you can go click on the QR code. It will read you those pages and then we'll have the books in the library and digitally so that the kids and the parents can now get those books. So we're real proud of that. And coming soon, we're still working on Northwest Library. We are working on getting comprised for online payments and some of the other behind the scenes kinds of things we need to do. We're trying to get our book sorter to uh, communicate with the computers and get our biblioteca system up. But after that, we should be ready to roll. So we're hoping by March the 1st, we'll be ready to rock and roll. And last but not least, our library superheroes are working hard for the county, even in spite of COVID. Thank you.
All right. Well, obviously, y'all are doing a whole lot of work, and we appreciate the work that you're doing in our community. Uh, obviously, the library is a wealth of, of resources, so please, please, citizens, tap into your local library. Are there any questions or statements from any board member in reference to the library's presentation? Yes, Mr. Chair. Commissioner Gregory. Uh, Ms. Litt, it, you didn't have to get up, I'm sorry. You, you didn't have to get up in your Sigma Gamma Blue colors. But my Delta Rays, don't get it. That, uh, <laughs> that was uh, Dr. Carter, Dr. Shantara Von Carter. She was a part of that leadership plate in class that put that one plate together. Okay. So you may want to speak with her about it. Okay. Yeah, that, that's all I need to Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yes, and in fact, I'm glad you said that, Commissioner. Not only did she put, they put it together during their term, but I believe we um, also added it, the, add, the, added the link, if I could speak, to our website. So you should be able to find it there, but they'll be happy to work with you on it. Yeah, but they find the link. What you all are doing. And I just want to say congratulations, because <clears throat> I was hoping um, I was stepping back because I know um, our Librarian of the Year represents all the county, and I really believe that that definitely needs to be uh, recognized on a larger level because to have the Librarian of the Year for the state of Georgia to be out of place in county, that ain't something we just need to breeze by. We need to be proud of that. We need to definitely honor her for that, and I thank her for making us still plate and proud. Those, that's how we change our image so people can see who we are. The other thing I want to share with you, the best time ever was when last year, right before the pandemic, I was in a training session and one of the directors of the state was teaching us about the library system and grants available. And right there at the top of that list was none other than Clayton County, <laughs> which is um, the highest user of the Pines library system, once again, in all of the state of Georgia. So we definitely need to uh, shine a light on those things. And thank you for the great job that you all are doing. And I love reading those books. So keep it up. All right. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Yeah, one more quick thing. Okay. Um, of course, you know, well, in my job, we try to connect with the community more, especially during this time now. Who is our contact for, you know, maybe a virtual presentation so that we can let the parents and guardians and families know so much of this is available during this virtual environment? Who's our contact there? Well, with the um, Youth Services Department, Rebecca James has been working with um, Craig at the uh, school system, and he actually brings together all of the parent liaisons and all of the media specialists, and then we have been doing sessions for them privately. So we make sure that we are telling all of them all the resources that we have and giving them demonstrations and that kind of thing. Okay, I don't know who Craig is. I forget his last name, but... He is the person who's over all of the um, parent liaisons and the media specialists. So he's the one that pulls them together for us. But we've been doing individual sessions for a lot of different schools, and we've had like 30 or 40 teachers that are sitting in, and we've actually started asking them about their resources for the parents because we know one of the frustrations with the parents is that they don't know what these kids are doing on these computers, so they can't help them because they don't know exactly how to get into the resources. So we're working with them so that we can now do some digital programming to help them help the parents. Right. And, and if you don't mind, I'm going to send you an email because I know it's just a mix up in communication because um, um, Craig is definitely not over the parent liaisons. And I'd like to give you the contact of who's over federal programs. Okay. And then that way, what I'm trying to avoid is everybody you know, reaching out to you or, or somebody else. And you will have a, a contact because it's, we all need it, mm -hmm. but just need that central person. So I'll send you an email. Okay. I'll look okay. forward. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ms. Lett. You're welcome.